feel better today than I did yesterday so hopefully whatever cold or whatever I have is going away I'm just putting a batch of laundry in before I run out I have some errands to do I have to go to Walmart I have like a whole list of some food stuff and like a bunch of non food stuff I have to get but my plan is to run the washer in the dishwasher while I'm gone because it's super loud so, um, I just wanted to update you guys. I went yesterday for an appointment and I was not, I was kind of annoyed. Um, I wasn't as annoyed as my midwife was, but so we went for our 18 week, almost 19 week appointment. They made it that day on purpose. They had asked me last time, they're like, do you want to come back in four weeks or are you okay waiting for five weeks so you can have your fetal scan at the same time? And I said, I'm fine with five weeks. <clears throat> and um, so we go. And if you guys have done um, an ultrasound before, especially when you're in early on in your pregnancy, they tell you to drink a lot of water. So I always have a drink in the morning anyways, but I drank like 32 ounces of water and didn't pee. <laughs> so by the time I got to the doctor's office, I was like, oh my goodness, but they take, they've taken me right in for the ultrasound in the past. So I was like, okay. So they bring me into the exam room, and Martin took um, the morning off of work, and 
we were going to bring Brayden and I didn't because I didn't want to pull him out of school. Um, I debated and I'm really glad I didn't because I asked her, I said, am I having an ultrasound today? And she goes, oh no, she goes, it was on your chart, but we didn't schedule it. And I was like, okay. And she's like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, well, that's why my husband came today. Like, if this is just a routine appointment, like he didn't need to come. So, um, the nurse was like, let me find out what's going on and I'll, we'll come back, back in. So there was a midwife that I hadn't met yet. She was super sweet. She came in, she was like mad. She was like, I can't believe they didn't schedule this. This is not okay. And I was like, it's not a huge deal. Like I'm not overly upset about it. I said, I just, I was like, my husband wouldn't have come if we weren't expecting that today. And she's like, I know. She's like, well, that's not okay with us. That's not how we run this practice. She like went on a tangent. So if you guys watched my last update, um, this is totally normal in my pregnancies. And with my first and even my second, it was really scary, but they cannot find my baby's heartbeats in like the first half of my pregnancy. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's like my where it's placed like where my uterus is I have no idea but they can't find it with a Doppler so last time I went the woman tried for like 20 minutes and finally she was so frustrating she's like I'm so sorry and she's like I don't want to panic I'm like I'm not panicked and I was like I'm used to this and I was like um, I said I had so many ultrasounds with my first <coughs> pregnancy because she could just never find the heartbeat. So last time they sent us in for a quick ultrasound, everything was fine, heartbeat was 170. So this time the woman was trying and the funny part was this time you can feel the baby kicking um, and <laughs> the baby was kicking the Doppler monitor. Like you could hear it on the monitor and you could, I could also feel it. And the midwife was like, well, your baby's kicking the monitor, but I can't get a heartbeat. And she's like, I keep picking up like 170-ish. And she's like, but I can't get it. Like, I can't listen to it. So after like, I don't know, maybe like 10, 12 minutes, she was like, all right, I'm not, I'm, she's like, I'm so sorry. Now, meanwhile, I have to pee so bad. We've been waiting for like, at this point, we've been there for an hour and she's pushing with this Doppler monitor and I'm like I'm gonna pee on the table <laughs> so she goes so do you feel okay I should probably keep doing this she goes do you feel okay leaving today um she goes because obviously the baby's active and she goes I just couldn't get a a reading on the heartbeat and I looked at her and I was like I'm not hung up on getting an ultrasound I was like but I I definitely don't 100% feel comfortable like I would feel a lot better if we got a like a steady heartbeat um reading and like obviously the baby's moving and like I feel fine there were no concerns but I don't know just at this point we only go every like once a month so she's like let me see if they can get you in and at this point I'm like my husband needs to go back to work and like I have to pick up my son this afternoon so um, they brought me right in they were super good and the ultrasound tech is hysterical she's like very black and white very like cut so she goes she starts lecturing the midwife on where the baby is and I like kind of stuck up for her and I was like that's right where she had the Doppler I was like I don't know why it wouldn't pick it up so everything was fine she said the heartbeat was 158 and um the baby was looked giant it's amazing how much they grow over like four or five weeks um but they had their little legs all curled up and they were like twitching their feet it was so cute so we got to see the baby very very briefly we wouldn't get pictures or anything and then we scheduled the um anatomy and fetal scan for it's, i think it's the day before thanksgiving yeah because um yeah so oh man but what a day so we left there and um i was gonna vlog yesterday but i didn't so 
we're just running errands today um we just had breakfast this morning me and fate um brayden obviously went to school martin's at work we're actually gonna go meet martin for lunch because that's our friday um ritual i don't know tradition whatever you want to call it every friday we have lunch so fate dressed herself and did her hair she looks beautiful show you guys. Fate, come here. Show our friends. Show them your outfit. So she picked this cozy little... Oh, my socks. Oh, you picked your cozy socks, your Christmas socks, your strawberry leggings. I love it. And like, look at this little hair clip. Oh, the strawberry leggings. <laughs> I thought they were so leggings. You look so cute. And they're soft. They are? She's all about soft lately. Huh? Yeah, because I heard it was chilly. It is chilly. So... This camera does not do these colors justice, but that tree right there has all bright red leaves that have fallen and then the rest is all bright yellow it's so pretty we had frost this morning all over everything i heard a rumor we might get snow tonight i actually don't think we will but that would be exciting i got a smoked turkey panini and martin got a steak and cheese it looks good it's huge mm -hmm. What'd you get, Fate? Lunchable. Pizza lunchable? A pizza one. I need to go down to make it. Okay. okay. All right, guys, it's a little bit later. Um, we had an awesome lunch with Martin, and then we went to Walmart and got all the things. <laughs> Do you guys ever just have a list, like an ongoing list, with the most random items? I've had one of those going and we're pretty good about sticking to a weekly food budget but all those little extras that either can wait or you just stick on a list and because you forgot it um, today was the day we got all of them so highly requested from my family was snacks um, my goal was to go through the snacks that we had and we pretty much have so for the past couple days they've been telling me there's nothing to eat for a snack I'm sure you mamas know that complaint so and we needed a bunch of household stuff so I have the most random haphazard Walmart haul for you so I laid it all out I figure I'll show you guys what we got so I laid it out I got a lot of stuff um, luckily Walmart wasn't crazy and it's a Friday so but we needed toilet paper it's a must I needed these toilet wands um, for those of you that use these Walmart I think it's $5.83 for a 10 pack. I don't feel like that's a great deal. Have you bought them anywhere else where you find them um, cheaper? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like I bought them somewhere else and I just can't remember where. It wasn't Walmart or Target, I don't think. I don't know. Anyways, um, we needed a big pack of napkins. I needed shampoo and conditioner and I love herbal essences. So I got the pink one for color care. I really like the smell of this one. Um, they had maternity leggings for seven, where are they? Seven ninety four. dollars So, Cooper fam, you're the best. She is also 18 weeks pregnant, and she said that they had maternity leggings for seven bucks. So, our maternity section is super small, but I went and got these. They're just plain black, so... Excited to wear those. I haven't switched over to any maternity clothes yet, um, and I don't have that many. Um, so, but it's getting there. Um, I needed paper plates. Um, speaking of being pregnant, um, with fate, I started getting gray hairs, and with this one, I feel like I have even more. So, um, I got this. This is like my exact natural hair color. So. It's a semi-permanent, and I just do um, the sides, and it works really well. So, I haven't done it in a few months. 
Um, I got this butter bronzer. I've had the same bronzer for probably a year and a half, possibly two years. I had a huge bronzer that I got like on clearance, but I've heard good things about this one. And it smells like the beach. So I got that. I got um, B6. Um, as a supplement for me, um, I'm still super nauseous. So my midwife yesterday suggested that I start taking this in addition to the one that's in my prenatal. So we'll see if that works. Um, I'm super excited about this. Um, so Batiste dry shampoo, I've tried it in the past and I like how it works. I just cannot deal with the smell. I don't know if it's just me. It just smelled terrible. And once I put it on my hair, that's all I could smell. Well, they came out with this one, which I don't know if it's new. I just didn't know about it. But it's tropical and it's coconut smelling. And it smells amazing. So, I got a big thing of this. This was only 8 bucks. Um, we needed hydrogen peroxide. We clean um, Fate's earrings with these. And then, obviously, just for our first aid, we ran out of the other one. Um, Fate picked out these. They came in, like, a little two-pack. Look how cute these are. They're little lip smackers. So they're just chapsticks. Let's see if I can show you. But they're not colored or anything. So she was all excited. So I think the rest is food. <clears throat> um, I got grapes. Green grapes. Um, the grapes I got in my Walmart haul last week were, they said seedless on the bag, but they have seeds in them. Not big ones, but little ones. Um, I also got watermelon juice. Um, our freezer is like depleted, so I got corn dogs. I got chicken nuggets for the kids. Um, I got fish sticks the other day. Those are like our quick go-to if we need them for lunches or dinners. Um, we are... We have one coffee pod left, <laughs> so um, I actually haven't been drinking coffee. I've had like, may I think I've had three my entire pregnancy, um, but now that it's chilly out, I've been craving it, and um, so I got regular ones for um, to have on hand and for Martin, and then I got decaf ones so that I can have some and not worry about the um, caffeine. I still drink caffeine, but obviously try to limit it. Um, I got a pound of Applewood smoked bacon. We needed chocolate chips for the pantry. I got regular ones and mini semi-sweet. Um, some raspberries that looked really good. Winter Oreos because the kids are so excited about the holiday ones. Uh, I needed another pack of eggs. Um, another thing of hummus. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that this is like one of my favorite snacks. Um, I just put a little extra virgin olive oil, oregano, and um, a little sprinkle of feta cheese. And then you can eat them with pita chips. It's so good. Sunny D, because uh, this sounded really good to me. Um, goldfish. I needed sugar for the pantry. Um, some cinnamon toast. I go waffles for the kids. Animal cookies. You would think these are for the kids, but they're for my husband. And the kids but my husband loves those um, he also requested ruffles because we have um, sour cream and ranch dip mix so we're, he's gonna have that this weekend a bottle of Diet Coke um, Lucky Charms Cheez-Its feta cheese to go with my hummus and then we just needed some fruit cups so I got the cherry mixed fruit mandarin oranges and diced pears and then last but not least I have been looking for a Lamper. I bought two of these over a year ago, and I love them. And I have found them in every other color, but I had white ones with gray handles, and I wanted one more. I have looked everywhere, and they are back at Walmart. They were 7 bucks, so I was so excited. So we don't do um, random hauls like this a lot of the time. Sometimes we'll just grab the stuff at, you know, when we need it. Sometimes we'll let it pile up like this, but um, I definitely needed a lot of stuff. So um, I am going to put all this away. I have to go grab Brayden off the bus. And 
I'm going to close out the very short quick vlog that I did today um, because I'm gonna um, upload all this and then hopefully edit it and put it up for today's video so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um, I'm glad my voice lasted throughout the video and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and we'll see you on Monday's video